Gina Carano, if you guys remember, she was also defamed. And because of that, she lost her job at Disney, which is a very progressive corporation that cares about women, except when women have too much to think, which uh, in this situation was Gina Carano. Very interesting, though, because I thought that Amber is the uh, protector of women overwhere, everywhere. Like she represents women. Seems that uh, Gina might be a little bit uh, unsatisfied with Amber's performance. Let's uh, read what Mr. Johnny has said. I don't know whether or not he posted this anywhere else. I just managed to find it from Gina's. Uh, six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the life of those close to me, and also the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me forever changed. All in the blink of an eye. A very similar, serious and criminal allegation was levied at me via the media, right? So this is what's interesting. This is what's interesting. Not the police, not the judicial system, not the actual uh, institutions that are supposed to judge if a person is guilty or not did this to Johnny. No, he was persecuted. Uh, like cancel culture, I really hate that definition. Cancel culture is like canceling a Netflix account or canceling your YouTube subscription. No. This is persecution. Like people persecuted him, triggering an endless barrage of hateful content. Although no charges were ever brought against me, it had already traveled around the world twice within a nanosecond and it had seismic impact on my life and my career. Now remember that Amber considers that Johnny is the orchestrator of a grand conspiracy that he controls all avenues of society, including the jury, which unanimously found her guilty, but it's only because of the society we live in. Like, everyone is conspiring against her, and she is representing women everywhere. Which person makes more sense? And I, I want to point out something very interesting. There is a difference between the domestic abuse that is man is capable of and a woman is capable of. So when you look at domestic abuse statistics, you're going to see a lot of men responsible. And this is also, in fact, that, you know, the, the abuse that men can do is very direct, right? So like a man beats someone up like that. That is a direct thing. It's a direct correlation. He is guilty. You know it. But women do a different type of abuse, which is not this direct. So the way women do it is that they can turn society against the men. They can make the men to be unemployable they can make their friends distance themselves from from the man they can uh get the man into a situation where he contemplates self-harm that is the type of abuse that women do it and the media knows it the media has released so many articles and, and feel free to google white women tears like google white women tears all of a sudden the mainstream media understands this concept that a woman can lie you know, pretend to cry, put on a sob face and, and pretend to be a victim. And society changes in order to punish the person that she points the finger at. Now, in a normal, healthy society, of course, every single claim should be investigated, but it should be up to the authorities, the, the people that are capable of conducting interviews and figuring out what's going on. So every woman should be taken seriously, but every person accused should be considered innocent until proof of guilty. That, that's what in a normal, healthy society. And this is not about men and women, by the way, because men and women are interconnected. Like someone's, a man is someone's husband, is someone's son, is someone's father, right? Like if you're a woman and you have a son, you wouldn't want your son to be mistreated in the way that Johnny Depp was mistreated. And the only way, by the way, Johnny Depp managed to win it's because he actually had recordings. He had recordings of her. How many times does that happen in a couple? Like how many people think it's normal to record your spouse because she might do something like this? If he didn't have the recordings right now, she would have been considered the innocent party and he would still be considered the guilty person. Sorry for the rant. I got a little bit carried away. Six years later, he had to live through this six years. The jury gave my life back. I am truly humbled. My decision to pursue this case, knowing very well the height of the legal hurdles I would be facing and the inevitable worldwide spectacle into my life was only made after considerable thought. From the very beginning, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth, regardless of the outcome, speaking the truth of something that I owed my children 
and everyone who re remains steadfast in support of me. I feel at peace, know at peace knowing I have finally accomplished that. So yeah, I I've been saying this as well. I don't think this is for the money. You don't understand just how rich these people are. I mean, for them, $10 million, it's um, still a lot of money, but for us, it's incomprehensible, right? Like for them, $10 million is probably four months of your wage. But for us, it's incomprehensible. I mean, if you maintain your lifestyle the exact way it's now and someone gave you $10 million, you would probably have enough money, not until you're old, but even for your children, assuming they would have the same lifestyle as yours and you're not just wasting it buying property and expensive cars. I am and uh, have been overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and the colossal support and kindness from around the world. By the way, like I, I want to point out, like Johnny Depp is the actor which uh, claimed that he wants to assassinate the Republican president, if you guys remember that. And still right-wingers came out and defended them. Like you still have right-wingers and left-wing people. I have seen a lot of left-wing people joining together defending Johnny Depp. Because people knew that he was right and what was done to him was just plain wrong. And people don't want to live in a country or in a world where this is considered justice. Where, where you have mob justice, where you have the people with torches and pitchforks without any evidence, without anything, just attacking a person and destroying their career. I hope that my quest to have the truth be told will have helped others, men or women, who have found themselves in my situation and that those supporting them never give up. I also hope that the position will now return to innocent until proven guilty, something that Gina Carano is quoting here, both within the courts and in the media. Yeah, I mean, the media doesn't even use the word allegedly. The media doesn't care. The moment someone comes with a clickbait headline and they post an accusation, the media just prints it. You know, like, I wish she could actually sue the publications that gave uh, her the platform. I wish she could do that, but... He probably uh, doesn't care at this point, considering that his name has been vindicated. But he should. He should. Like, all these publications should be sh sued more often. They, they are complacent in ruining lives. I wish to acknowledge the noble work of the judge, the jurors, the court staff, and the sheriffs who have sacrificed their own time to get to this point and to my diligent and unwavering legal team who did an extraordinary job in helping me share the truth. The best is yet to come, and the new chapter has finally begun. Veritas uh, nunquam peret, truth never perishes. I find it interesting that his signature looks like a mouse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> what did Walt Disney do to you, Johnny? <laughs> what did Walt Disney do to you that even your signature looks like a mouse? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, um, finally this uh, trial is over. Again, I'll probably make a couple more videos about it just because uh, there's a lot to unpack here. A lot of journalists foaming at the mouth right now. It's interesting that the actual journalistic publications distance themselves from this. Like uh, the journalistic publications kind of knew that Johnny will win. But you have like uh, individual journalists who were attacking YouTubers. They were attacking YouTubers because YouTubers were covering this. The most trending topic on Google Trends. Like over 500,000 people have searched about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Over 500,000. That's a lot, right? And journalists were baffled. It's like, why, why are YouTubers talking about, oh, it must be Gamergate. It must be the far right. Oh, they're weaponizing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we didn't weaponize shit against the jury now, did we? I mean, uh, first of all, I don't think we are weaponized. But if we were, first of all, like the idea that the far right is trying to uh do celebrity gossip is laughable i mean first of all that would be a good thing because instead of doing politics they're doing celebrity gossip uh and the second of all like what the fuck is the far right you know like how do you define it what what is it but anyway right um that, that's a topic for tomorrow's video uh today uh please celebrate if you expected this outcome i know a lot of people have been watching this closely uh, Nick Riquieta had uh, 140,000 people watching his live stream. I mean, that is just insane. I didn't even know YouTube can reach those numbers on live streams. Uh, good for him. You know, he put on a lot of work and he got a lot of lawyers there. So uh, it's it's good that uh, he's getting this amount of publicity. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.